services, um, bachelor's in human services, or pursuing a nursing mm -hmm. as an RN, um, but I'm, not, I'm kind of stuck, I'm not sure. All right, so tell me something about your, um, your background, your, your employment, where did you work at before, because when I think about nursing, it's kind of human services, but it's more kind of hands-on, technical, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just kind of curious what um, made you this kind of think about those two different uh, fields. Well, first nursing, I thought about that because I like to be on my feet. I don't like to be sitting in front of the computer <laughs> most of the day. And I know nursing, you're here and there, and you know, uh, you don't just have to be in front of the computer. So that's why I thought about nursing and also human services is because you can be in front of the computer, but you could also go out and work with what I've heard, work <laughs> with different um, clients or patients. And I like the, I don't like the same thing over and over. I like a variety. Or so you like the uh, variety. Have you had the chance to um, look online or have you talked to any schools? Do you have any idea what schools might be offering, what prerequisites are? Do you um, do you have um, do you have an associate associate's degree? Uh, yes, I do. And um, I've checked online but it's I haven't really been able to find much information. I don't know if I'm not looking at the right places, or I don't know, but I just 
Well, you came to the right place. I'll definitely be able to help you out to find um, information on what school offers what program. Then you can also take, there are several different websites where you can take assessment and kind of self-assessment. So the self-assessment is, kind of helps you decide in a way, kind of uh, helps you make a better decision. Hey, is this what I really want? Or is this what I really want? So, and then you can do it in your own kind of pace so you don't have to worry or stress out about being around other people while you're taking your assessment. So I'm gonna send you some information um, at the end of our meeting so you can actually look through them um, at home on your spare time. All right, so let's show you um, on this website. Since I'm a visual learner, I like to see how people talk. Well, some things I want to show you what I have in mind when I say um, different assessment that you can online. And then also on this particular website, I will be able to show you. This website will have information on different schools mm -hmm. that offer different programs. So if you select right here on the right hand side, mm -hmm. if you click on, on this box right here, mm -hmm. um, it's going to give you an option as to what, what to select a school mm -hmm. or select a program. So if you select a program, for instance, human services, it's going to give you a list of all schools in Washington State that offer that particular program. Oh. So you don't have to take further information on your own, mm -hmm. but rather it's, it's, it's kind of a click away, mm -hmm. literally. Um, the other option, the other, so I'm going to send you this information as well. So you can look into that. Now, how is um, Mrs. Norma on employment? Since you are on unemployment, or you have been on unemployment for, um, within the last two years, there is a program through a school that's called, um, it's called Worker Retraining. And Worker Retraining is a federally funded program that helps um, individuals who are on unemployment or who have been on unemployment within the last two years um, to, to pay for tuition for the first two quarters of their tuition. That you came here. Because we can we can create a plan of action. And plan of action is basically a list of different things that you need to do. And some of them you have to take in a particular order, but some of them you don't have to. So we can create a plan of action together. And so you tell me if that makes sense to you. So you are on an unemployment, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. So your source of income right now is unemployment. Yes. You're looking for tuition, assistance, and assistance with books, yes. correct? Okay, so since you are currently unemployed, then your source of income is unemployed until you run out of unemployment. Well, going to school, you, you have to let, if you're planning to go to school, and once you start school, you have to let unemployment know. And there is another program through unemployment called uh, training benefits that will help you extend your unemployment while you're in school. Okay. So besides regular unemployment, you will be able to get additional um, so many months of unemployment because you're in school. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so the form that you need for that is called training benefits and conditional approved training. And I can print that for you so you have it with you and you can start working on it. Okay. Can you also email it to me? Yes, absolutely. Everything that I cover, I will be emailing you links or documentation. So that way you can review it. Okay. And something to refer back to. Okay. Federal financial aid. Have you used federal financial aid before? Do you know how to do you know what federal financial aid is? Um, I've used it before but I don't I just know what the basics, like I don't know a lot about it. 
Okay. Can you explain? Oh, absolutely. So the very first thing you want to do if you're going back to school, regardless what your situation is, is apply for federal financial aid. So financial aid, worker retraining, applying for training benefits and commission approved training. That is what you need to get started with. That right there is a lot of information that I don't want to overwhelm you. And then also this website that I just showed you about um, different programs and assessments and mm -hmm. that could help you decide is it nursing you want to go into or human services, mm -hmm. as well as what schools offer those different programs. It's going to be very, very um, beneficial to you. And as soon as you decide what you want to do, then um, because it seems like you've narrowed it down to those two fields only, correct? Uh, somewhat, yeah. I mean, I can, you know, research a little bit more if you, you can help me with that. But Absolutely. I'm thinking one of the two. All right. Okay, so just to kind of make sure that you feel confident enough, how are you feeling now with these different options that you've listed? Well, I have a lot to do, you know, a lot of work. The good thing is that I'm not working right now, so I can focus on my career. Oh, yeah, and another option is we have a workshop every Tuesday, 10 to 12, that, yeah, that's a great information to write down, um, 10 to 12 on Tuesdays, specifically for, commission, for training benefits if you're unemployed. One attended workshop where you can get to learn basically how to fill out the application. Oh. Also, we have a, um, we have a workshop every Friday, one to three, um, how to fill out federal financial aid. So that's a great way to come. Uh, keep in mind that you need to bring your taxes information for the previous year. So for the school year, 2012, 13, 14, you need to bring your taxes for 2012. If you have any questions if, um, that you can think of later on after you leave my office or at any time, please feel free to contact me. I am here um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. I do have a, a meetings and appointments, but I will be more than happy to see you um, and talk to you if you have absolutely any questions re uh, related to your unemployment or I know it's a lot, because if it's something new to you that you've never done before or came across, it's a lot to grasp on. Mm -hmm. So feel free to contact me if you have absolutely any questions. Okay. Okay. Any other questions that you can think of right now? No. Mm -hmm. Covered everything. So you're going to send me an email? Yes. I'm going to send okay. you an email uh, with this, what we just talked about. And then um, also let's check back in about a week. So today is Friday. Um, why don't you let me know how things go by mm -hmm. next Friday by either either calling me or emailing me or stopping by. Um, and then we can get a, a schedule or set up another appointment for a follow up and make sure that we have um, that you kind of that you feel comfortable, that you feel more confident, you're ready to um, to get a, to get into human services or nursing program. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I truly appreciate. It. Thank you. You have a wonderful day.